Oh, so um, on one of my um, uh, past excursions, I, I came across this this sign in a uh, uh, junk shop that was closing down. Got a pretty good bargain on it. It is a medallion home sign, part of a campaign in the 1950s, uh, sponsored in large part by GE. This is the sign of modern, total electric living. It means many things to many people. But rather than uh, simply uh, uh, hang it flat against the wall, I thought I'd uh, spiff it up a little bit. So let's get started. The first thing I did was to uh, cut out a, a disc, uh, did a rough cut for the deep saw of a scrap piece of MDF. And uh, now to make sure that it's uh, you know nice and even and smooth, I'm going to put it on this circle cutting tube that I made and uh, run it against my um, disc sander. And think of the pleasure the man of the house will get from these power tools. You can make your family's life much brighter. You will find your work much lighter. It's as easy as can be to live better electrically. Now, what we're going to use this for is to give the sign a bit of depth. Try and get it off of here. Yeah. Make it uh, float off of the wall just a little bit. But we're going to do a little something extra. And since the sign insists that uh, living electrically is to live better, um, we're going to do just that by adding some LED lighting. Now this, uh, this uh, LED, these LED strips here, you can find online, pretty cheap. Now, the thing with these LED strips is that they have to be cut in uh, segments of three LEDs total. There's a little line here where you're supposed to cut them. And before I got started, I did a little math to make sure that the circumference of my circle uh, worked out so that I could get these to, uh, to go around evenly without a, without a gap or an overlap. Now, unfortunately, um, my math, or probably, more likely, my cutting was just a little bit off, so I'm getting a little bit of an overlap, which isn't a big deal, but um, it'll be easier to, you know, to wire up if, uh, if I don't have that. So, I'm just going to add on a layer or two of iron-on melamine edge banding to expand the circumference just a bit. You yourself find occasion to use some of this, uh, this iron-on edge banding. I highly recommend getting an inexpensive travel iron. It's a lot easier to handle, plus you don't want to use your, your regular iron because some, uh, some of that glue will get on the iron and get on your clothes. And you don't want to do that. So I've gone ahead and cut off a proper length of uh, LEDs and you'll see two little little pads here in the ends. That's Those are the solder pads. And this is pretty typical I think of uh, most brands. Um, and I find the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and lay down some solder on these pads just a tiny bit like so. And I've already got this little uh, uh, DC power connector. Um, it came with the, uh, the roll of LEDs I got. Red will go to the positive, and black will go to the negative. I don't know if you can see the little, there's a little plus and minus, there it is. Now I just need to lay this on top here. Hold it down with my finger. And solder that right on there. All right, now the black lead, get that on there. There we go. And before we go any further, we should go ahead and test this, make sure it's lighting up. We plug in a 12 volt adapter. These are 12 volt LEDs, so we want a 12 volt adapter. And I've got this, uh, where we get the LEDs from, they, they'll probably sell uh, power supplies. I got this one off of eBay. Uh, it's hard to find white ones, uh, but I found uh, found a few on eBay. And oh, there it is. Okay. Now a great little side effect of using the uh, the edge banding on here is that it's I think it's going to be it's going to stick. The LEDs are going to stick a lot more easily than they would on the, the raw MDF edge. And all you got to do 
is peel the this little backing here. You peel that off, and then you will stick it all around the edge. Boom! Editing magic. Now we've got a terrific light-up disc, which is going to go here, like this. Now you can see what we're doing. First, we've got to add a little hanger here, so we can actually hang it on the wall. Hammer it in. Now, also, I don't want this, this ugly connector hanging out, so I could have cut it off, but I would have had to cut it too close to this, and if I made a mistake, I'd be screwed. So I'm just going to loop this back, just tack that down with some tape. Doesn't have to be too nice. Nobody's, nobody's going to see this. Not the most elegant, but as long as it works. And with that, we have only one major step left, and that is to put this on the back of this. Uh, now, unfortunately, the only places to, uh, to screw anything on are these, uh, it's, got, it's got four little holes right here at the edge. And I am loath to drill through this. Uh, I don't want to ruin it. So, uh, what I'm going to use is some silicone adhesive. Now, what I was going to do is use use these these holes, these little mounting holes, uh, to line things up, to line this up on the back. But uh, when I checked it, they're not quite centered. Uh, so if you line up, and I checked this roof. This roof is centered in the graphic, as is Dad here. Uh, not to be gender insensitive. I assume that's the dad. In the 1950s, that would be the dad. And, uh, lined it up with the point on the house, the dad's, uh, peg foot. And, uh, and I made a couple little marks with a, uh, little marker. Little marks on the edge, just on the edge. And then, uh, turned that over and, and drew a line. Now that's my center line. So, line it up and use a little tape to hold it down and all we gotta do is apply it just like this in three spots around the edge and then in the future uh, if somebody wants to remove this all they gotta do is uh, you know run a knife along the edge so I've let the silicone cure overnight. It actually doesn't take that long. I think it takes about three hours, uh, but uh, I was pretty done for the day anyway. Uh, so we can take off the tape. And yep, seems to be holding pretty well. Now, there's one thing, one more final step. Um, as you can see, this isn't in the best of shape. Um, I've given it a good cleaning. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of roached down here, missing a little bit of paint. Um, but there is one thing we can do to spiff it up a little. It's a little magic formula called uh, Scott's Liquid Gold. Uh, it's actually for wood. It's a wood cleaner. But you put on on a sign like this, and. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but it, it deepens the color and gives it just a little bit of a shine. It really gives it just a little pop. And the only thing left to do now is to hang it up and turn it on. And there you go. You can have more time for fun and pleasure, family moments you will treasure. It's an opportunity to live better electrically.